are your shoulders? Where are your shoulders? How do your shoulders feel right now? Close your eyes. Breathe into your upper back. Allow any tension to pour down your shoulder blades, down into the earth. Notice how you feel across the front of your chest. Can you imagine the collarbones widening? Can you imagine helium balloons attached to your collarbones? Lifting your collarbones up. Inhale. Imagine those balloons lifting the collarbones up. Exhale, maintain that lovely length in your spine. As we inhale, the spine lengthens. As we exhale, naturally the spine drops. So we're going to think about maintaining the length on the exhalation. You may need to do this sitting in a chair. Because if you're tilting back and you're gripping in your hip flexors, you're not in the most lengthened position of your spine. So make sure that you're sitting right up on your sit bones. So we have the collarbones lifting up and the shoulder blades sliding down. The jaw is relaxed and the sides of the neck are long. If you can see yourself in a mirror, notice if your head is tilted. And very often when we come back into alignment of mind and body and soul, the body will naturally realign unless it's been for many years and we start to create a posture and inhabit a posture that is holding on to a lot of restrictions and tightness and pain. And so it is so important to undo the body before we do it up with Pilates. Shaktalates is really all about undoing, letting go, and realigning the body. And I have an eye that is very, very good at seeing where, and I'm talking even online, exactly the bit that needs to let go in order for the correct muscles, fascia to come back into alignment so that actually the muscles know what to do already when the bones are aligned. It's deep and powerful work. And I, for me, it's really important to keep the integrity of the alignment of the body and how it's taught. So just begin today by thinking about inhaling, the spine is lengthening, the collarbones are being lifted by helium balloons, and the shoulder blades are sliding down the back and you may notice that you feel more open. And you will be more open. And the body is a wonderful reflection of how we're feeling. But we can shift our state by shifting the body. We can also change our state to realign. But the habitual programs and the habits that we have maybe repeated for many, 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 many years, many decades, really require undoing, bringing the light to shine on them. And that is how the emotional work and the, the other work, the deeper work around how we're feeling is so integral to, to my work and so integral to Shaktilates. It's my passion and it has been my passion for many, many decades. And I'm excited to share this technique with many, many more people who are ready to really awaken 
to the divinity, to the wholeness of your truest expression and how you can step forwards and really meet a, a, a greater version, the real version, the truer version of your real self and without hiding, contracting, but actually allowing yourself to fully express all of you as we are all collectively together raising the consciousness, it's more important than ever that we embody, be in our body, rather than this kind of spiritual woo-woo and being heady and working everything out, but the more that we can actually breathe and land and move from that deep integral part of the body that's here on planet Earth, taking us on this journey through life. It's so important that we include our body and allow our body to be a reflection of our true nature. If you'd like more information about my introduction to Shaktalates, I'd love to hear from you. It's going to be available really, really soon. Namaste.